first time in 1994 that we've done this show here in your Seacoast Repertory <coughs> Theater. And I'm stepping out from backstage for just a moment to greet you all and tell you about some of the things we have coming up in the new year. Thieves in Toyland was first performed at Chicago. Grand Opera House. And a few months later at New York's Majestic Theater. Victor Herbert himself was born in Dublin in 1857, and he emigrated to the... <laughs> Excuse me. Emigrated to the United States in 1870. <laughs> ah, right, where is she? Oh. Back by the hearty ritual of Christmas's decorating of the tree. 
one moment of rejoicing, the star was placed by the children. Nice Bravo. And as if by some magical contract divine, the winter night grew calm and still. The chill slackened, and two of them and the citizens left their homes to walk the street. Families and lovers, peasants and the wealthy, the Christ and the children. Lights of the street shone on cannabis, and everywhere was heard cowards and sleigh bells.
Good morning, class. Good morning, Little Piper. <laughs> Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Mom. <laughs> class, I'd like you to say hello to our two new students, Alan and Jane. Hello, Alan and Jane. Put down six and carry two. Put down six, carry two. You'll find this isn't hard to do. Hard to do, hard to do. If you think and think and think. Till our brains are numb, numb, numb. Listen to me carefully. You can do the sum. I don't care what teacher says. I can't do the sum. Story problem number one. Story problem number one. If a steamship weighed 10,000 tons, and sailed 5,000 miles, and in the hold were high heel shoes, what? 20 different styles, and if all the sailors were six feet tall, and clapped their hands like seals, or, 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 how would those swabbies mop that deck while wearing those high heels?
Oh, that's good. But that's not what it means. Oh, that's bad. No, that's good. <laughs> the gypsies are always looking for a few good men. <laughs> I think you got them confused with another group. <laughs> no, listen, they'll take Tom Tom off our hands. Oh, that's good. Watch, he's getting kind of heavy. <laughs> they'll buy Tom Tom from us. He'll be one of them, and we won't have to, you know, you know, <coughs> have a fortune stone. Don't drown him. Oh, that's good. Right. Right. <laughs> have a boat.
He felt he couldn't be a good husband to her, a good provider. And so he went off to sea to make his fortune. He spoke of all of you often. Often? He just left today. Yeah! That's right! He did! He left on the SS Sixpence. And the sea was as smooth as the cheek on his face. Tom always had a smooth cheek. Tell me, where is he? Oh, I, I couldn't miss... Mary. Miss Mary! It's too much for me to even think about it. Why? Has something awful happened to my son? Yes, ma'am. <gasps> He's gone. <gasps> to that big adventure land in the sky. <gasps>